Next up, let's create the sign-in. So the sign-in is an overlay, which looks like that, right? Your account for everything Nike, two text fields, uh, a little checkbox for signed in, forgot your password, some privacy messaging and a button, I'm not a member. Okay, cool. So let's build that out quickly. So let's zoom out on the side here. We're just going to bring in a box, which is going to house everything. And then I just need this text, copy that. Let's bring in an H2 heading, press enter, paste. So it wraps from after four, everything. And then it's also center aligned. Okay, let's center that somewhere there. Okay, cool. We need two text boxes. So let's bring an outer container first. Uh, this is going to be, uh, let's make it uh, 400 width. And the height, let's make it 50. Okay, cool. Let's drag this a little bit down. We'll need two of these. We're going to need the logo as well. So fortunately, we can copy it from this logo. So let's just double click into here, select just the logo, control copy. So you'll notice what I did there. When I selected it, it's a group. If you select again, you pick up uh, the individual item in the group. So, and then I copied it by pressing Command C. Now let's go back to our home page and let's paste it on here. Okay, cool. Let's center that. Put it there. Okay, that's looking cool. It's got a, uh, a radius as well. So let's just select this, this outer container, add in a radius of about five. Yeah, that looks all right. And then for each of these, they also look like they've got rounded corners. So I'll give them five. And then we've got a checkbox. Um, actually comes with a default checkbox right here. And you drag it onto the canvas. Cool. And we're going to type in, keep me signed in. Let's just increase the size of that to about 14. Maybe 15. Yeah, let's, 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 let's go with 15 for now. And then we need a text label which says, I've got your password. And then we've got this privacy policy messaging. So I'm just going to alt drag, enter and paste. And then we just need to underline privacy policy. Must as a link and terms of conditions, terms of use, underline. Okay, let's also make this and just make it smaller by dragging this, this piece and let's make it centered as well and let's select the background the text uh, area and center cool let's also make this 15 okay cool so far so good Select like the background, I'm just making these uh, text containers, the containers for the text fields, 
to be aligned with the background. Cool. Next up, I will need a button. Let's use the button. And let's delete that. And what we're going to do is just have the same dimensions. That was 4, 8, and 50. So width, 4, 8, and height, 50. Let's just unlock that. And then type in 50. And then we can lock that back in. Okay, cool. There we go. Make the fill black. Make the text white. And the text on there says sign in in caps. And then lastly, we've got a bit of copy which says if you're not a member, you can join us. Enter paste. So let's join us and command underline. Command U for underlining. Okay, that looks about right. Let's just, um, yeah, that looks fine. So if we select this checkbox, I just want to see what properties exist for this. Now under interactions, we're going to press selected as the default setting. Size, if you can increase that. Cool, that increases the size of what we have. So I've pushed it up to about 20. Let's just push it up a little bit more and then put in a bit of text, a bit of space over there and make this a bit longer. Cool. And maybe it's a rounded corner radius of about two. There we go. Cool. That's looking great. And then we need a close icon. So go back to libraries, select icons, type uh, close in the search. There's a close icon, drag it in. And let's make this icon size 20, uh, maybe 25. Happy. Cool. And then what I need now is actual text fields. So there's a text field for email address and one for password. So let's let's uh, let's create those. Let's go back to default library. Let's find text field under forms text field. Drag it on to the first one, and we're gonna make it size for eight. Let's look at 400. And its height, let's keep it at 33. That's all good. Well, let's make it 36. Control Z. Oops, let's unlock this and then make this 36. Okay, cool. Let's just zoom in a bit more. And let's align these and align center, align middle. Awesome. And let's duplicate that. Put it over here. Let's see if I change that to five. So if I have that text field. And then we remove the background. And let's take that out. Okay, so let's use this text field. This is nicely styled. And then let's put in some hint text. So you'll go over to interaction. This is nicely styled. And then let's put in some hint text. So you'll go over to interactions. The first one, it's going to be email address. Small caps. Awesome. And the next one is password. Password is kind of unique because It's not input text type. What you're going to do here is to select password, and that's going to create a masking uh, style when it's actually being when you actually type into that text field. There we go.
Then next up, I want to just add a bit of padding from the left and maybe 10. Let's see what that looks like. Yeah, 10 looks like a good number. Okay, and there we go. Cool. I also want to remove any interaction on this. There was a little lighting bolt, which signifies there's an interaction, but I've taken that out. Okay, and there we go. We're done. So select all of that, right click, create a dynamic panel. We're gonna name this the sign in pop up. And we're gonna position it. And again, we're gonna, wherever the link exists, wherever the interaction is gonna exist, that's where the dynamic panel should be. So let's cut this out, control X, get into that master, select sign in. Uh, let's paste it in here, cool. It's gonna sit over there. And then for sign in, we're gonna add an interaction. On click, we want to show uh, sign in pop up um, dynamic panel. It doesn't have an animation. If you go over here to more options, there is bring to front, uh, and then under none, we want to choose treat as light box, and that's automatically going to make it. Uh, um, an overlay, a pop-up box with an overlay at the back. And then the background, we are gonna select a dark color. And over here is the transparency of that color. So right now it's sitting at 72%. I made it uh, 50, 49, but let's keep it around 60. Let's close that and say, okay. And then let's hide our dynamic panel. Let's go back to our home page and let's preview this. Okay, so if we go to sign in, when we click, there's our pop up. Awesome. Maybe it's sitting a little bit down and maybe we can make the clothes a bit smaller, but I like this. This is looking awesome. And if we click outside, that will dismiss our dynamic panel. So let's go in there. Let's just move it up a little bit more. Let's see where does it set exactly. It's just after the menu. So something about there. That should be fine. If you double click, you'll get it into the dynamic panel. And let's make the size 20. Okay, I'm very happy with that. Now I can see the size. Let's just choose a styling, which is actually 12. And this will reduce the size to about a 20. Cool. And let's just uh, put this over there. Okay, and there's our button. Let's select these text fields. Just want to make them a bit smaller. They did seem a bit large when we opened the. Awesome. And close. And remember to save your file. Control S. And ladies and gentlemen, we have ourselves a menu system, which looks like that. How cool is that? Awesome. We move on to the slider ribbon, this one. 